today's video, I'll be talking about the cost of living in Austin. Austin is in central Texas and it's the capital. Known for outstanding food and all year round festivals and great live music. In the last 15 years, Austin has grown rapidly. It has been in the top 10 cities to live in in the last couple of years. What has caused all this rapid growth? One is businesses. Tech companies are moving in to Austin. For example, Tesla is opening up a new company here. So that's going to bring a lot of people into Austin. This also includes steady job growth since more companies and tech companies are moving in. Another big attraction is Texas cost of living. Compared to other cities like New York, California, the prices here are comparatively very low. Another reason that attracts people is the desirable lifestyle. Um, this includes a much younger crowd, it's an active city, um, and a lot of people are attracted to those things, um, which bring the music, uh, the music scene, the festivals, uh, so it's a very, very much younger crowd compared to maybe um, surrounding areas. Another one is no state income tax. That's a big one for, for many. Warm weather. Well, this can be if um, people are trying to escape colder weather, maybe from more up north. Um, so Texas does give that to people, the warmer weather. You have the lakes, um, more uh, you have more sunny days here in, in Texas. However, since the city is growing so fast, prices have continued to raise. So you, it's, it might be more expensive than other surrounding cities in Texas. In this video, I wanted to focus more on what you can expect if you wanted to move to Austin. This includes housing, gas, transportation, groceries, and going out to eat. For housing, I'll start off with apartments. Since the last four years, I have lived in an apart apartment complexes in Austin. So I'll be talking a little bit more about apartments and I will include um, housing if you're looking into purchasing. Um, but starting off with apartments. For the past four years, like I mentioned, I have lived in the Austin area. But for the past two years, to be more specific, I was very south of Austin very very south we were in apartment size of 798 square feet and I'll be showing you around this is a one-bedroom apartment I have already moved out so I was able to record um, the apartment being empty a, this apartment came with new appliances it did not include a washer and dryer but for the apartment size about a year ago we paid about 1200 now if we wanted to renew it was up to 15.92 to the dot and um, so definitely it has gone up now if you look up north close to georgetown i found the same apartment complex same finishes but maybe a couple feet um smaller it was a 700 800, 788 square feet apartment and the prices started off at 18 1800 for utilities, our apartment, our apartment size, our bill will range from $30 to $80 depending on the time of year. During the summer, of course, our bill is a little bit more higher since we do have the AC running through the whole day. For internet, um, since now both of us work from home, we had um, installed the fastest internet from AT&T and our bill would come out to around $80 a month. If you're trying to get a ballpark about if you're wanting to buy a home, of course the prices tend to be higher since it might be a bigger space for you to either warm up or cool. Um, so you could look into maybe $60 up to $140 a month. Now if you're trying to buy a home here in Austin, home buyers are presented with a wide range of prices. For example, if you're trying to look for a single family home, they can start off from 300,000 up to 600,000. Now, if you're looking into waterfront in the West Austin area, those homes can start off from $4 million and up. Now, the Southern part of Austin tends to be a little bit more affordable than your central and um, 
a little bit more up north. Now gas. As we know, gas has gone up nationally, but here in Austin area, we can find gas starting from $4.40 and up to $4, just depending what area you're driving by. But definitely, I think it might be um, more affordable than other states. Does Austin provide different type of transportation? No, it, it, it's not well known as, you know, like if you go to New York City, you have the subway, um, you have many different ways to get around the city. Uh, but in Austin, I, we, we do, you know, you have your Ubers and, but we don't have like a, we might have a train, but it's super slow. It's like, I, I think it's like in a certain part of Austin. So Austin does not give you great transportation options if you don't have a car or you, you can ride your bike. A lot of people, like I mentioned, is a very active city. So if you have a bike and you're living downtown, you can be on your bike or walking. Definitely if you're like in the city center, maybe you can get by without a car if you work in downtown. Not many people do that. If you remember, Texas is very hot, so you don't really find that many people um, walking to their work in the summers. I might be wrong, but in my case, I don't think I would want to be walking in this heat. <laughs> now I'll be touching into groceries. As well as gas, we know groceries have gone up. If you're trying to compare to if you were purchasing your groceries last year, uh, definitely your bill, your receipt is much larger. But here in Austin, we do have um, HEV in most of Austin, um, Austin, all of Texas, you find HEV. So you might have heard of HEVs, um, but they tend to have very great um, prices. For example, um, if for me and David, a monthly grocery could now be from 300 to 500, depending on uh, what your diet is, meaning like if you're allergic to certain things or you can't have milk or you know you have to have alternatives, that definitely plays a role uh, how much your grocery bill comes out and also depending on the size of your household. On average, Austin is about 12% lower than the national average. So that could be also a thing to keep in mind. Now about restaurants. If you're a person that likes to eat often, Austin is a foodie city like I mentioned in the beginning. They're known for their food trucks. Very great food. You, you can find a variety of, of food uh, cuisine here in Austin. While eating at a casual restaurant can be compared to the national average, which is $15, starting at $15 a plate, residents could pay up to $50 or more per meal at a more expensive restaurant. If you're thinking of moving to Texas, especially in the Austin area, I hope this video can kind of give you a little light into what can be your expenses with housing, transportation, um, food, uh, groceries. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions regarding if, want, if you're wanting to move to Austin. Thank you for um, being with me today. I'm excited for upcoming things to share with you. So please stay tuned on my next video. Thank you. I'll see you next time.